in a lot of ways, Lost is a video game, you know? The idea that any kind of video game has like a little map up in the corner, it's all dark. And when you begin to explore that area, then the map starts to fill in, and Lost is a lot like that. The experience of playing the game will be obviously very reminiscent of watching a Lost episode, and at the same time, it'll be its own unique experience. The day after the executive producers got back from hiatus last year, we had our first meeting with Ubisoft. You first obviously have the conceptual creative brainstorming sessions, and we then have gone into creating story. So the idea of, from the very beginning, trying to come up with a game that would give the gamers a real genuine sort of reward for playing. Damon and Carlton, they'd give us specific rules. The hatch, and how the computer works, the Dharma Initiative, the others. The black smoke has to work this way. The one thing that the people want to do, they're going to want to interact with the, the characters of Lost. The best way to do that is to be someone else who's going to actually interact with those characters. We've come up with a really cool amnesia concept where basically another castaway who was kind of there witnessing the main events of the first three seasons of the show, in the crash, this guy loses his memories. So when he has a flashback in the video game, you as a player are experiencing it along with that character. So he's kind of trying to figure out, what was I doing in Sydney exactly? And that sort of drives his entire story on the island. Fans of the show and the game should be watching very carefully in the flashbacks, because you're guaranteed you're going you're gonna to run into some familiar characters. To have an experience that was unique to just watching the show, that was the real challenge. And I think these guys at Ubisoft were really innovative in terms of figuring out how to do it. So how did we keep this game authentic to the show? First of all, you'll interact with all the Lost characters. Because we use a next-gen platform, it gives us the ability to make the characters as realistic as possible, and you'll be able to go inside all of the environments inside the Lost universe, the Black Rock, the Hatches, and explore the beach. The first challenge we have on the character modeling uh, team is the likeness of the character. Basically, we're working with a character sheet like that in order for the character model to just have the, the good shape and the good likeness of the character. We decided to uh, use the motion capture. As you can see, we tried to uh, reproduce someone sliding on a slope, and we capture that, and after, we can bring this animation on the character we want. For example, here, you have Ben. Doing a video game about, uh, about a show or film is about uh, capturing the, the, the meaning and the, and the experience of the show. So we are uh, trying to make sure that you feel the island is alive. At the end of the day, we keep saying the same thing over and over, which is, you know, it has to be a really fun game to play, regardless of whether or not you've seen Lost. Like, for us, we're just making a cool TV show, and the fact that there's sort of a demand and a hunger for things outside the initial show is really exciting, and it's just, it's kind of up to Carlton and myself and JJ and Brian and Jack Bender and all the writers to make sure that anything that has the name Lost on it is cool and, and does sort of live up to the, you know, to the canon of the show. Damon, he suggested an ending, which we're using. It's, it was a brilliant ending, and I think, I think the fans are really going to love it. It's going to be one of these hooks where it's like, oh, that's awesome.